Alright guys. Hey, how's it going? Um just got back from uh down in Macon at the shipping warehouse. Uh just picked up the new bucket. <sighs> and I've got something to show y'all. Um I'm not proud of it, but I said I wasn't gonna uh, hide any screw ups, so I'm gonna get out of the truck, show y'all the bucket real quick, and uh, show you what happened. So, <clears throat> so here it is. Uh, this is the uh, 48 inch. Uh, diesel equipment uh, smooth edge grading bucket uh, I'll get some more detail on this when I get it off the, the back of the truck but I just wanted to show you all this real quick and then I'm gonna walk over here and show you uh, we had today's Tuesday on Sunday we had a little screw up uh, I was working in a really tight spot uh, getting getting some trees and some brush broke up and you probably just saw it already um and i was working uh right underneath those oak trees over there and uh working in a really tight area trying to watch too many things not paying attention to how close i was getting to the cab and uh was was really trying to watch seven different things at once and uh had a little accident um there it is we broke the front windshield <laughs> out of the machine already I, I curled in too far and uh had had a stump in the in the bucket and sent the sent it right through the right through it so i'm okay i didn't get hurt uh nothing structure wise got hurt just the glass i've got a guy coming out here this afternoon uh he's gonna put a piece of uh margard which is a uh, high grade uh polycarbonate uh so basically it's gonna be a, a bulletproof glass front door now um so yeah um not proud of that one that one hurt you all probably can't see me very well um uh, i'm gonna set y'all i'll set y'all up over here i'll talk to the camera for a minute before i get this thing unloaded um where's a good spot let's set y'all there that's uh, not straight but it's close enough um so yeah i'm not proud of that one uh i don't really know what to say about it i mean it, it makes me sick to think about but it is what it is things happen we're gonna get uh we're gonna get this this margard put in here and that should solve our problems uh I had the option of getting it put in this machine. Uh, I didn't do that because Cat's polycarbonate window kit for this machine is uh, right at $2,500. And uh, I just, I didn't want to pay for it. I should have paid for it because we do a lot of clearing uh, and running around mulchers a lot. We're going to eventually have a mulcher on this machine. So... Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. Um, things happen. I'm not proud of it, but you, you learn and move on. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do now, um, uh, I'm going to go pull the bucket off the back of the truck. I got to move some stuff around so I can get, get it out of there. Um, it was kind of a kind of a pain getting it put in the back of the truck so hopefully it'll be a little easier getting it off and uh i'll be back in a minute when i get it off and give y'all some more details
All right, we'll see y'all in a minute. All right. Get this, uh, gonna get this bucket off. Get this one off. And I'll unstrap the new bucket. I don't have to get down more than once. up off here shall we
just wanted to open this package on camera because uh, the guys from Diesel Equipment Company are they're really great guys uh, I talked to them some on the phone and uh, uh, said they were going to send me a few things so I got sunglasses got another koozie got this uh, got this notebook I wasn't expecting that one and a shirt a t-shirt uh, I just want to open that on camera I really appreciate it guys y'all were really good to me make sure there's nothing else I don't feel anything else in there so I appreciate it guys so let's uh <clears throat> let's hook this bucket up see how it's gonna see work. if y'all can see there been a minute uh, I was trying to get all this on video at once and uh, I just couldn't do it I had too much stuff happening all at once right there all of a sudden uh, I think when I left off uh, the bucket couldn't quite fit inside the the quick coupler uh, I was under the wrong assumption that this was a universal pin grab coupler uh, it is not. It is a cat-specific pin grab coupler, uh, which means that the distance between the center of this pin and the center of this pin, uh, according to cat specs, is 12.1 uh, inches. Uh, the center of this pin and the center of uh, this pin uh, was 11.8 what that meant was and i don't know if you can quite see down in there uh, i had to go throw that pin in the mill and that's probably not the best solution but it was the quickest one i could come up with because we needed this bucket asap so we'll figure out a if that starts causing issues we'll figure out a proper fix but for now that it's locked in there good and tight it's got plenty of uh the wedge for the coupler has got plenty of bite up underneath here, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I had to go throw that in the mill and machine off about three sixteenths of an inch to get that to to work. And then while I was doing that, the uh, mobile glass guy showed up and got me a piece of Lexan put in. Uh, we ended up taking the whole frame out of the machine uh, just made it a whole lot easier to, to work with. Uh, so I got to let that set up. Uh, according to him, the glue is an it's an hour set set up time on the glue, but I'm going to leave it sit there overnight. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I just wanted to get on here and wrap this video up real quick. This one's going to be a little bit longer one, but we got the bucket in. Uh, so far uh so uh to the diesel equipment guys uh man a1 jam up this bucket is built uh it's got a bolt-on cutting edge uh it's got half inch thick side plates it's got extra wear plates along the side it's got a piece of it's got a tube steel spine so that's going to take more than a little bit to bend it's got a extra uh gusset plate up underneath it here uh it's bent 
the welding on it is just spectacular. The bosses, the pin bosses, the ears, everything's great. Uh, it's got uh, a little bit of reinforcement uh, scabs back there. So that's going to be great. This bucket's built super heavy. Um, I can't complain about it at all. And uh, up here in some pretty... Pretty thick clay, pretty hard packed clay. Uh, the 307 will will completely fill up that bucket. Uh, it has no problem pulling that bucket at all. Uh, I was actually really surprised about that. So I just wanted to wrap this video up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please comment and subscribe. And uh, I'll be up here tomorrow. I'll probably take a video of putting the, the windshield back in in the morning. And, uh, yeah, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see y'all later.